Hello Goenkans, I'm your maths teacher. Students, today we are going to learn about patterns. That is the number pattern. So what is this number pattern? Number patterns are a sequence of numbers that are ordered based upon a rule. Every pattern has a rule. A number pattern is a sequence of number that repeats according to a specific rule. Let's try some examples. Look at the first number pattern that starts at 10, then 20, then 30, then 40, and then 50. Now, can you find the next number in the pattern? Well, to do that, we have to find out the rule this pattern follows. And here, we can notice here that when we add 10 to this number, we will get 20. And then when we add 10 to the number 20, we will get 30. Again, when we add 10 to the number 30, we will get 40. Again, when we add 10 to the number 40, we will get 50. So here, the rule is we have to add 10 to get the next number. So when we add 10 to the number 50, we will get 60. Then when we add 10 to the number 60, we will get 70, then 80, then 90 and so on. So here the rule is we have to add 10 to get the next number. Students, if we notice here, each number is bigger than the previous number. So this is a growing pattern. This is a growing pattern. I hope this is clear to you now. Now. Let's see another pattern. The pattern of numbers are 2, 3, 4, then again 2, 3, 4, and then again 2, 3, and 4. So here 2, 3, and 4 are getting repeated again and again. So this type of pattern is called as repeating pattern. In this, we need to find out the portion of pattern that is getting repeated again and again. Like in this example, 2, 3 and 4 are getting repeated. The part of the pattern that gets repeated is called the pattern unit. So here the rule is the numbers 2, 3 and 4 are getting repeated. We have to add all these numbers once again. So we will get a pattern 2, 3, 4, 2, 3, 4, 2, 3, 4, 2, 3, 4, again and again. I hope students, this is clear to you. Let's see the other, the, another pattern. Here we have 1 plus 3, which is equal to 4. That is, we have two consecutive odd numbers and the sum is equal to 4 and we know that 4 is a square of 2 that is 2 times 2 then we have 1 plus 3 plus 5 that is consecutive 3 odd numbers and the sum is equal to 9 and we know that 9 is a square of 3 that is 3 times 3 then we have 1 plus 3 plus 5 plus 7. That is, we are having 4 consecutive odd numbers. And the sum is equal to 16. And 16 is a square of 4. That is 4 times 4. Then we have to complete this pattern. See, in the next pattern, we have 1 plus plus 3 plus 5 plus 7 plus 9 that is we are having 5 consecutive odd numbers and the sum of 5 consecutive odd numbers is equal to 25 and we know that 25 is the square of 5 that is 5 times 5 then we have 1 plus 3 plus 5 plus 7 plus 9 plus 11 
That is, we have consecutive six odd numbers. And the sum is equal to 36. And we know that the square 36 is the square of 6 times 6, which is equal to 36. I hope, students, you can try the last pattern yourself. And you can do exercise number 5, which is in your book on page number 123. Thank you very much.